Hi. If you're like me, fairly attractive, pretty good at most things, but not so great in the kitchen, then I've got something pretty mega for you down here. It's pizza in the pan, a pizza in a box where you cook it at home. Let me show you how. Come on. Oh, mate, I think we're out. Um, I think we out like yeah, that. can I? Raf! So, the pizza's here. All you need next is a kitchen. And lucky for me, I've got someone who really knows what they're doing. My good friend, Crescendo. 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 Of course, if you don't have a Crescendo, Crescendo. Then, Crescendo, then you'll be needing this. This guide comes in the box and is a step-by-step -step to how to make the best pizza probably in the world. Fortunately for me, my assistant has already laid out all the ingredients, so we won't be needing this. Talk us through the ingredients, Crescenzo. Dobo, tomato sauce, mozzarella, flour, parmesan, basil and olive oil. All ingredients for products uh, margarita. And this is for one pizza or two pizzas? This is for two pizzas. Two pizzas, perfect. Let's get to it. First step, what am I doing? You have to take the zero zero flour and spread on the table. So why am I putting flour onto this top? Because uh, with the flour it's easy to spread the dough bowl. Make sure before you use your pizza that your dough is at room temperature. This will make the dough a lot more relaxed and easy to use. When you get as pro as me uh, at this, you can then just flip it onto your hands, folks, and just give it a little spin. Perfect. Oh no, oh no, there's a hole. I've made a hole. What shall I do? With the, there's, a, there's a weird hole in it now. You can put the door like this and close it. Easy. Next step is put the hop and grill on and put your pan on the top of the hop. What temperature are we talking here, Crescenzo? Maximum. El Maximo. Now it's hot, what are we doing? You have to put the dough inside the pan. You want to do it? Oh <laughs> yeah. So lifting up gently, I assume. We do not want any holes. And then placing onto said pan. Once you put the dough on the pan, you can start putting tomato sauce. Straight away? Yeah. Fine, let's do it. Half amount of Parmesan. And now you can put mozzarella. How do we know when the base is done? So we have to check on the bottom and when they got it brown, it's ready. So the base is done, now all we need to do is put it in under the grill. Yes. And the yes. grill is at highest heat. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, highest heat. Uh, did you check the pizza? No. Right. Should we, should we get the pizza? Yeah. I think it's ready. Crispy on the outside, bubbling in the middle. I think we're on to a bloody winner here. Now I think there's only one thing left to do. Chop. Now we eat. Bon appetito. Cheers. Cheers. I can't believe we made that. That's true love, isn't it? coming from my heart. Mm. Whether you're young, old, experienced, or inexperienced like me, or just a little bit hungry, this pizza is great for everyone. Mm. Did you make this? Thank you very much for watching the step-by-step -step guide on how to make Peter in the Pan's pizza. We hope it was clear and informal. Thank you, Crescenzo, for you're enjoying. Welcome. Thank you for assisting me in making the pizza. And remember, no pineapple on the pizza. It's weird. Very weird. You're Italian and you're eating the pizza upside down. And you keep doing that. Yeah, you're still doing it. I mean, I don't know how, I can't imagine how much they're paying you. But you're, is that how they do it? Uh, upside down? Eating it upside down? Right. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I, I just think you're doing it wrong, but. Let's um let's re let's retake. Um